Hey everybody, it's Adrian Manray, and welcome back to Great Lakes Avengers, Episode 2. Uh, yeah. I know it's been a while, guys, but sometimes writers have a lot of stuff on their hands, so I hope you understand if there's, like, no, like, weekly releases at times. But with that out of the way, let us begin our episode. The episode begins with the team walking down the street, advertising their team name by showing signs off on a sidewalk as Grasshopper plays old music on his stereo. Dude, nobody uses stereos anymore. Yes, they do. It hasn't been relevant since the 90s. Come on, man. Immortal let me borrow it. Squirrel Girl and Flat Man look at Mr. Immortal in absolute disappointment. What? I thought it would be cool, okay? He then pulls out a Great Lakes Avengers sign that was colored in markers on a pizza box. You couldn't bother getting a cardboard sign at Dollar Tree? I would have, but Grasshopper spent the last bit of my debit card on Discord or Nitro. How much was even on it? Uh, $10. God damn it. Hey, someone has to promote the Great Lakes Avengers Discord server and we need unlimited megabytes to upload our fights. Did you just... Never mind. Just use YouTube to upload it for free. Simple. Okay, uh, I will also do that. Look, it takes... Oh, okay, okay. I got an idea for an intro. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Great Lakes Avengers channel. We have an amazing fight ahead. That said, make sure that people start screaming as the villain is robbing a bank. Okay, first bad guy, let's go. Oh, Jesus. Oh my God, yes. Grasshopper sees a villain with pitchforks for hands. One, that's weird for a first bad guy. Two, he will pay for interrupting my intro. Look, we need to think about how to- Dragons! Grasshopper runs towards the villain. Uh, screw it. Mr. Immortal, Squirrel Girl, and Flat Man enter a bank with Grasshopper to find a villain named Pitchfork, played by Adam Sandler. Pitchfork looks at the team very confused. Who the hell are you guys? I mean, like, really. First it was that one guy I met earlier this morning, now you four idiots. What, other guy? Never mind. You're going to jail, Mr. Pitchfork. My name is Pitchfork. It should be obvious of what my powers are. That is a stupid name. Anyways, yeah, you're gonna go to jail now. Pitch, please. Get it? Cause I'm pitchfork. I've got pitchfork hands. I've got a, I've got perfect pitch, and it's, it's time to die. And uh, um, and you get it. Grasshopper attacks pitchfork. You will pay for what you did to me. Okay, I just met you. What the hell could I have possibly done to you in the span of five minutes? Look, man, ignore- You interrupted my YouTube intro idea. Uh, what? Are you serious? Just cause I interrupted an intro while robbing a bank. Grasshopper starts fighting Pitchfork as the police start arriving. Crap. Okay, let's help Grasshopper take this guy down. Flatman and Grasshopper try to restrain Pitchfork, but aren't sure how to tie his arms together due to the Pitchfork's for hands. Hold on guys, I'm coming! He lunges towards Pitchfork, but gets stabbed by his Pitchfork arms. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, I actually killed somebody. What's so goddamn funny? I just killed a guy! <laughs> Mr. Immortal gets up laughing. Oh, what the hell? Oh my god, your reaction was priceless. Okay, funny thing about mutant abilities. You don't know what you're gonna get. I'm basically immortal. Thus, Mr. Immortal is my name. Look, I thought I was gonna die many times, okay? Didn't work out, so what? I knew I was going to survive that shit. You piece of shit. Tries to attack Mr. Immortal, but a portal comes out of nowhere where his hand goes through. 
Then another portal comes to the right of his face and it hand pokes his face. Ow! Damn it! Who did that? A hero named Doorman, played by Chance Perdomo, appears as he sees the other four. Leave him to me. <sighs> Jesus Christ, you again? Just turn yourself in already. Do you think you five could be pitched for- Gets knocked out by Grasshopper's kinetic boots. Hell yeah, Great Lakes Avengers for the win. The cops come in and cuff Pitchfork with enhanced cuffs and put him in an armored police car, then they drive off. So, uh, when was this team formed? Um, about, like, yesterday. Oh, Jesus Christ, no shit, you're sloppy working together. Screw you, uh, who are you anyway? Um, I'm Doorman. I can basically open portals, be intangible, and I can become weightless and float in the air. Oh, so that's why you're called Doorman. Hey, uh, wanna join our team? Okay, I don't know about that. I have a lot of college papers to go through and... It's gotta be okay. Maybe the team just needs a smart person. I mean, maybe a guy who can teleport us places. Wait a minute. You're that team that was advertised two days ago by that guy. He points at Mr. Immortal. Not gonna lie, I had some studying to do so I couldn't come there that day. So I hope auditions are still up. You're in. Definitely. Grasshopper, Mr. Immortal, and Flatman leave the building. Well, it's nice to meet you, Mr. Doorman. Doorman smiles. Call me Damar. Name's Squirrel Girl, but you can call me Doreen. Nice. Squirrel Girl and Doorman catch up with the others where they see that the others are eating at a McDonald's ten minutes later. So, is this like a thing you guys do? No, I just had some money in my wallet left over. Okay then, guess that could be a team hobby. I like that idea. So, what do you think is going to happen to that pitchfork guy? He's going to prison, kind of obvious. Uh, don't bad guys sometimes have bosses? I think that's only like organized crime and madmen who do that type of stuff. Like that uh, fist guy back in New York. Monkey Toe and Tippy Toe, Doreen Squirrels, walk in and try to paw at the glass. Squirrel Girl looks at the two behind the glass. I'll get you almonds after this. I promise. We cut to an abandoned warehouse where a man in a green hood works on a blueprint of a machine of some sorts. I knew I couldn't trust an idiot with pitchforks for hands. But it doesn't matter. Hopefully the others will do what I paid them for and give me the materials needed. Soon, the world will know my name. He continues to work on the blueprint as the episode ends. We have a post credit scene where a Squirrel Girl and Doorman are looking at possible locations for an official Great Lakes Avengers base while Flatman tries to get a walkie talkie for all the members of the team. Grasshopper looks on his Twitter feed and sees an interesting article. Guys, the team looks at Grasshopper. Ashley Crawford is coming to town. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. What am I missing? I have no goddamn clue. Ashley Crawford is a very big supermodel in the industry. She was even in multiple magazine covers of Vogue. She's a big celebrity. Okay, uh, why does that matter? We could be popular by that. Well, that could help us in the long run. It's settled then. We are going to meet Ashley Crawford. Wait, hold on. Where is this beat and greet at? Okay, let me just uh, look it up. Uh, the Detroit Institute of Arts. Okay, let's go. I can't wait to meet her. Guys, I think we should think about this first. Yeah, he's right. First off, how much are the tickets? $20 each. Okay, I have enough for about three of us. I can ask my parents if I can borrow $40 for me and Doorman. Alright, now we got that settled. Let's meet a celebrity, I guess. Flatman looks up where to buy tickets while Squirrel Girl leaves to go back to her house. Then it cuts to black. Hey everybody, it's Adrian Mary, and I hope you enjoyed Great Lakes Avengers Episode 2. And 
be prepared for episode three because you're going to see the last member of the team. And I'm not going to say it because it's a big surprise. And with that out of the way, I... Oh, oh uh... Hi, Stan and JT. Uh, what is it? Wait, we have a new style now? Oh, okay, okay. I can fix that. No problem. Okay, let me just get on my computer. Okay, there we go. Honestly, this is a pretty good day. Not gonna lie. Just chilling with the team, so-and-so. But nothing could possibly go wrong, you know? All right, time to change the style. In one, two, three. Ah, yeah, it's a, hey, wait a minute. Who changed the style? Oh, wait, it was Adrian. Uh, never mind. Uh, okay. This is gonna be difficult to, to, what's the word? Jesus Christ. To deal with. All right. Uh, thanks, Adrian. I guess. I have a YouTube channel, if you guys didn't know. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. But with that out of the way, make sure to subscribe to this channel for other side projects. And also subscribe to GT videos for mainline RMCU content. Anyways, this is Adrian Manray, and I hope you guys have a good day. Peace.